All right, everyone, now that you've got the uh, finalized depth of connector statistical analysis done, there's one last thing that we're going to take care of. First off, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add a new sheet. We're going to call this, so we're going to give the sheet a new name. We're going to call this conclusion questions. So conclusion questions, I'm going to click into Microsoft Word. So in the document, you guys will do this as well. You're going to go ahead and copy this conclusion question, this first one over. And in the cell that I have, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste that in. Now, let me go ahead and zoom in on this just a little bit to make it a little bit better to be able to see. There we go. Now, what I would end up doing is this is labeled as number one, which is what we want there. So, there we go. Um, in order to go through and answer this, so again, I'm just kind of zoomed in here. As I'm going to highlight, this looks like a pretty good bank of cells. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, select from A1 to I1 here. And as I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go down and give myself a pretty good amount of room. Um, actually, let me go ahead and go down below here and do... Let me take a step back and uh, let's go ahead and highlight and do this particular case. So highlight A1 to I, uh, I1. And what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to go to the home button and or the home tab, I should say, and you're going to merge and center. So that's going to merge and center that. So that way that's one giant cell that houses the question. Now down below, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight and I want to give myself a pretty good amount of room. So let's do A a2 to I6, and let's do emergence center in this case. So that's going to give me a block that when I click in, inside of here, I can be able to type and keep putting in my answer. Now what I would like to do is kind of sh to show you is if you click on this cell and right click and go to format cells, you're going to end up having something known as font. And uh, one thing I would go ahead and change is for that cell, let's go ahead and make that like a red color or something like that. So that way that's easy to be able to kind of note that that's your, that's your particular font. Um, and the other thing that we kind of need to look at is, um, in some of the cases, uh, we need to look at uh, being able to fill those. So here in the alignment, here's where we're going to be able to do that, is the horizontal alignment is it's going to put it in the center. But let's go ahead and let's just do a... Um, do kind of a left or like a general kind of set there. Vertical alignment set to the bottom. Let's go to the top. And then let's go ahead and choose the wrap the text. So, and I'm going to say OK. So now when I double click in this cell, if I click, now my text shows up here at the top and it goes in there. Now the general puts that up against, against the, uh, right up against the edge of the cell. If you go back into format cells, you're going to end up doing a, um, you could also end up having left indent, and then you can put in an indent percentage. But if you just go ahead and say OK, um, it's still going to do that unless you went through and did like a certain percentage. So just to kind of show you what that looks like, format cells. Um, I think it's because I've got the cursor inside the cell. There we go. Is Let's do a... 5% indent. And then if I click inside there, there's where the beginning of that indent starts. So to me, 5% uh, looks a little too high. So we can always change some of that and go along and, and kind of edit some of those things. Uh, let's drop that down to maybe 1%. Yep, 1% looks pretty good. So then that way it kind of looks like it also distinguishes from your question. So this is how you can go through and kind of answer this in kind of a Word doc format, and it will continue to wrap your text around. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down to the next question. Um, copy it. Go into my Excel file. Uh, leave a little bit of space between. So let me see if I can uh, let's paste this in. Um, here we go. Let's... Let me redo that. Click in, So I just want to click inside A8 in this case, Command-V. Um, looks like to me that the numbering is going to be off just by a small amount, so maybe we can just change that to 2. And um, let me merge and center. Let's do the same A. We'll do A8 to I8, merge and center. 
And even then, I rather than centering those, I can go ahead and do a left aligned on that case. Same kind of situation here down below. Probably want to give yourself maybe at least four rows, and we'll do the same kind of thing here. Merge and center. Um, select the cells. So make sure your cursor is not inside the cell. Make sure it's outside, and then just select the whole thing. Right click, say format cells. In our alignment, let's go ahead and do the left indent set at one percent. Let's do the do it at, put at the vertical alignment at the top. Let's make sure we wrap the text. Go over to the font, choose the font color that you want to have, and uh, say OK. So then that way that'll do that. So there's your there's your second conclusion question. That way you can answer this. And then as I look at number three, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So we'll go from A to I. Um, let me first off just select one cell, paste, and uh, same kind of scenario there. Select all this, merge and center. Um, the issue with this, this is a pretty long question. So the thing is, is that if I select those merge cells and say format cells, the reason why you're not able to see all the text there is because I need to go to the alignment and I need to say wrap text and say OK. And then that will go through and kind of wrap that around. Now, what may need to happen, since this is such a long question, is I may need to merge and center the bottom row too. So the way I did that is you'll actually see, so I highlighted this and I highlighted the row below. If I hit merge and center, it does that. But if I click it again, it'll do the entire thing. So here I can go ahead and um, let me go ahead and change the number on that to three. And I can go ahead and select this to do a left indent and there we go so there's there's where my question shows up all right again probably want to leave this is a pretty uh, interesting question might want to leave quite a few uh, rows there merge and center click off of it and then select it again to format the cells and then again left indent set at one percent do a top justification or vertical alignment and then do a wrap text in there font change the color say okay and then there we go now you're going to be able to start typing in there so that's one way to go through and rather than have you guys answer separate conclusion questions on a word doc you can do that right here and also kind of shows you some editing tools to how to merge create different paragraphs within microsoft excel if you want to create instructions for someone and that's kind of how this thing works so go ahead and make sure that you save this and uh, once you get that typed in and this will be your turn in for our e-learning assignment once you're all completed.